do have a couple things to do after this is over. So, but I want to give everybody a chance to say everything they want to say. So, everyone here, would everyone here like to say something? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you want to <laughs> say something. One. Yeah, oh, just one person. Two. Two. Well, we know you want to. Say All right. Something. So we'll we'll start over here and we'll go around and. Yeah. Uh, I'm, my name's Dick Grader. I haven't read on Hadley for over 40 years. Um, I retired from the Hadley Police Department. And um, I've known Mike Mason all of his 15 years that he's been here. And he has been nothing but excellent. I, I think Mike is a, a person that we will be glad to have. As far as the talk of hiring somebody else in, I've been around. And you can look at Amherst busy, big department, very professional. They've never hired from without, outside. Northampton, they've never hired from outside. So I don't, I, I think hiring from outside, I think it's, it's, it's for people who are looking to further their career and move on after three or four years here. That would be my opinion. But Mike is highest integrity, honesty, professional, and uh, I wish you would consider him. Thank you. Mr. Riskowski? Yeah, after listening to the three candidates, I think all three of them are well qualified for the job. There's no question about it. And I, along with Dick Crater, I've known Mike for many years and all the years he's been here in this department. And uh, I think the department has done a good job. There's always room for improvement in any department. I don't care which one you look at. But I, I was a former selectman, sewer commissioner, and all that. And it just, I, I personally would choose from within. For the simple fact, you got a department. People look at it that, do I have a future in this department? Or just, we're going to sell it out? And again, there's nothing against the candidates that <coughs> are here. Listen to them. I think they're very professional. But my feeling and my support would go to Mike Mason. And I hope this board would see see through that and, and vote for that. Thank you. Thanks. Who else? Well, they may most go here. Smith. Hi, my name is Linda Pisano. I'm an assistant district attorney uh, out of the Northwestern District that covers Hampshire and Franklin <coughs> County. I've known Mike Mason uh, for quite a few years, and I came to listen to all three of the candidates because both professionally and personally it matters to me. I live in a neighboring town, and obviously I work with this department extensively. And what I'd say with respect to Mike Mason is that his professionalism, his dedication and his intelligence uh, is, is evident in everything he does. We've worked on investigations together and, and just recently on quite a large investigation. And after hearing all three of the candidates, as well as knowing uh, Mike Mason, I would suggest he is absolutely the best candidate for this town, and I urge this board to uh, consider it strongly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sir. Frank Leisure, uh, I've been a resident of this town for 72 years. I was on the Hadley Police Department a lot more years, more than I want to think about. And I was on the Board of Selectmen also. But I have uh, known Mike for a short period of time, and I've had the opportunity to uh, work with him through the Sheriff's Department on a couple of things. And he was very professional got back to me. We had a little problem with a well-being check in which I was doing and on somebody that uh, I was going to have to do some paper serving and uh, couldn't find her. And he did, he did a heck of a job. And, and I really, uh, he got back to me and he did it very professionally. And he uh, seems like a very outstanding uh, candidate for this job. And I think he'd do a great job. Thank you. Sir? Yes, my name is Henry Bai. I live on River Drive, and um, I'm also employed part-time uh, in the department as a dispatcher. And um, listening to all three candidates tonight, 
any one of those guys could run that department, in my opinion. I mean, they're all qualified. But when you have somebody in the department that's qualified, my experience is you tend to stay there. And it appeared to be a similar process probably two years ago for the fire department. And it stayed in-house. And Chief Spanknagel, in my opinion, is a top-of-the-line fire chief in the area. And that's why I favor Sergeant Mason. Uh, I've known him since he came into the department as a dispatcher. And one thing I remember when he became a special officer and he went up through the ranks, I said he had a four-year degree, and I said, you're not going to be here long because you're going to be with the state police or another higher agency that, you know, just remember me when he stopped me on the pike. And he says, I'm not leaving this department. I love the guys. And this was 12 to 15 years ago. Sergeant Mason's in his prime right now. He's in his prime of his career. That's the guy you want, because in 20 years from now, he's still going to be sitting in that chair as chief, if he becomes chief. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. Anybody else? Mike Majeski, resident of Hadley, former employee of the town. Knew Mike Mason since they got hired. They got hired. Chief then and I looked at each other, said he's going to be the employee of this department. Smart, intelligent, level-headed, common sense, nice guy. Nice guy to the people. Knows how to control people within the department. He's, his level-headedness of how to look at a situation develop that situation into a result that is deemed necessary, however you want to look at that. He is, um, like Mr. By said, somebody that's going to be here till he retires at 65. He's not going anywhere. He never made any inclination that he ever wanted to go someplace because he found his home. He loves his town. He likes the people in the town. He gets along with everybody, but he's fair with the people within the department. He knows how to manage those people in the department. Um, he's not afraid to <coughs> discipline within the department. And he has an open eye. He listens, worked well, I think he worked very well with the board, and that's an important thing. Um, I see no flaws with Mike being the next chief. I heard a uh, rumor that some people thought he was too young. What is age? He's a very mature person, and I don't see how the town could go wrong with uh, Mike Mason. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anybody else? No one out in the back? No one outside? <laughs> there must be a ton of people oh, out there. Just, in the, they are. <clears throat> so I made it very clear at the, uh, in our search <coughs> committee, and thank you to all the members of the search committee. We worked a long, hard time on the process. But um, as a fire chief, uh, I had the privilege of knowing Chief Huckwitz, who gave me an opportunity, along with members of the select board. But <clears throat> I want to tell you that I'm, I would, I'm a selfish chief because I look at Mike Mason as the ability to hit the ground running, as he made clear, um, and we're ready to go. So I hope you would favor him uh, as your choice. You're not making the mistake. I can tell you that right now. Thank you. Thanks. So is there anybody else? Last call. All right, so what is the pleasure of the board? Well, with that being said, I would like to hire Sergeant Mike Mason as the next Chief of Police of Hadley. Okay, is there a second for discussion? I'll second it. All right, any discussion? Discussion. Um, Joyce, this is uh, your and I's 12th year as selectman in town. You're rerunning. I am not uh, for time constraint reasons, but I've had people call me about 
this search more than probably I think maybe the only thing was was the rezone for Lowe's that over a course of time I got more calls. <laughs> but I think, you know, really, I mean, we had to do that, what, four or five times. So there was probably more calls there. Um, I had more people either stop in and see me or call me about this search um, in my 12 years here, which, which says two things. First of all, the people in town realize that it's a major decision for the town of Hadley and it's going to shape the future of the town of Hadley. Um, we all know the impact of this hiring moving forward in the town. Um, and I'll tell everybody on camera the same thing I told people who contacted me. My 12 years on this board, anytime we had a situation where Sergeant Mike Mason was in front of us because we had a situation that we had to deal with either with a public, in-house, whatever. Professionally done, level-headed, never loses control, and, and steers you to the, to the right answer. Um, so I, and on top of that, he has done the things to further his career. He has gone out and gotten the education that you need to further your career. He's continuing that process now and I think it's only right that we reward an employee of the town for doing those things. So I would support Mike Mason for the position of Chief of Police. John, do you want to make a comment? Not really. Huh? The committee did an excellent job with all their reviews and all their interviews. They, uh, looking over all, all the questions and comments and everything, they, they pretty much covered it all. Like the community came together tonight right now and it looks like they're they're giving us their response right now also so it looks like it's a pretty easy decision and everybody came together on it <laughs> it was it was, a, it was a hard decision and Mike being the youngest of the uh, of the candidates not a real hard, it wasn't a hard decision for me and you all know that um, but the thing was is that you always looked for age or whatever and but you know what? Age didn't make a difference in this point. He was so well um, spoken. He interviewed like he had years of experience um, for never having interviewed for a chief's job or any other higher officer's job. Um, he just, he absolutely shined. And I was just, I guess so emotional with all this. Um, he, just, he just was the top of the line to me because he showed what um, he could do for this department and to bring it into the future. And I just think he, he is the best candidate. Molly? So, yeah, again, this is going to be repeating some of what you know, got said at the, at the search committee. Um, I echo Joyce's comments about, um, you know, my assessment going through all of the interviews is that Mike clearly interviewed the best um, of all of the candidates. So, um, and I'm, I'm happy to have the problem, if it's a problem, but I mean, you know, I think it's a unique opportunity that we have three qualified candidates. Um, it says a lot about our town, that people of that caliber want to work here. Um, so I think that that's, that's a very good thing for, for us to be dealing with. The um, sticking point that I had had, um, and it wasn't so much age, um, if that was misconstrued, but you know, I, I certainly had uh, said to the search committee that one concern I had is that because Mike is so articulate and um, you know together in, in his communications, that we lose sight of the fact that he, relative to some of the other candidates, was earlier in his career and may not have had the breadth of experience that people coming from larger agencies have had. Um, specifically, looking at Jack Dunn's experience, um, one of the things that we, the candidates brought up during the interview process is where we may be uh, in need of resources within town is investigation and detective work in particular. Um, I think everybody brought up the kind of lack of supervisory positions for during shifts. So that really stuck with me through the, the interview process. And, you know, I, so what I've been weighing is on the one hand, do we want to 
um, give up the opportunity to bring somebody in who immediately bolsters the experience base of our department. Um, you're, you're paying for a chief, and with the chief, you're getting uh, you know, somebody with that detective background on top of its SWAT team, et cetera. That's not something that Mike has, and that's not Mike's fault. It's just the reality of you know, what his experience has been here in Hadley. Having said that, again, I have no qualms at all about working with Mike. Um, I echo everything that's been said here. Um, personally, professionally, I can't think of anybody with more integrity. And, you know, so, so I'm, I'm probably more conflicted than the other, the other people up here. I'm trying to remove the emotion from it because emotionally, of course, I mean, Mike would be the first, I mean, it's not even a, not even a question. But this is probably one of the most important hiring decisions that we're going to face here in town. And, you know, I, I would be more inclined to really think it through um, a little bit more before jumping to that conclusion. But if it's the will of the select board tonight, then, you know, I'm happy to, to do that. So that's my two cents. So I guess it's my turn to say something. <laughs> you going to let me off? Did I say it? So I, I've actually thought a lot about this and read the resumes and people have talked to me and, and I've gone back through my life and what I've done and how I've, how I've progressed in my career. And, and you know, the, the hardest thing I do in my career is hire people and let people go. And it's always, it's always a challenge. On, on the one hand, I'm always looking for the best person. But then on the other hand, I'm always looking to show that um, that the people I'm working with and give them the chance to make themselves better because you know, I start, I, I know, people don't know this, but I kind of started by just volunteering to work for free and I worked for volunteering so I'll do my job for free and next thing I knew I had a paid job. I thought that was great. Someone was willing to give me a chance and I, I see it's very important to when you have, when you're an employer that you give your people the chance. One, you give them the chance for training. Two, you give them the chance to go out and do things, whether they fail or whether they pass in great shining colors. It's important to let them try. Um, we had three excellent candidates here. We'd probably be doing fine with any one of the three. But it does say a lot as us as a town, us as an employer, us as the select board, that we have someone who has done a great job. He's gone out and got what we want our people to do. He's trained himself. He's working well with people. And I would, you know, while I'm conflicted with wanting the best person, I think we have the best person right here. And we've made that best person. We've given him the opportunity, and it's time to give him a little more and let him make a better place person than himself as well. And so I said that kind of weird. I do that often. I apologize. But I would also support Mr. Mason as being the chief. Sorry, Mason. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've all said our piece. We have a motion and a second on the floor. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So we'll be getting in touch with Mr. Mason soon. And uh, he's outside. He outside. We might have an executive session tonight. Mike out there? We may not, but we might. Unless he went home to relax a little more. There he is. No. Yeah.
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay with that. So we'll schedule it for the next meeting, yeah. which is next Wednesday. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much.